that's the difference of when you say I want to be something and I don't have no choice. When I want to be something, then you're going to present a lot of broken dreams. When you are destined to do something, the conversation is totally different because it's a lifestyle. At some point, you got to be fucking tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you got to fucking play angry. And I play angry. People want to find peace immediately, but the only way you'll find real peace is by going to war with yourself every single day. The real battleground is in your mind. That's where the fight is. You lay down with it, you get up with it, you go to work with it. It's not haters. It's not enemies, it's not liars, it's not backbiters. It is you. You're the only one who can stop you. No more excuses. This moment right here is the last time you let yourself off the hook. You've got to become obsessed with improvement. Every day you got to get better. You got to level yourself up every single year, every single month, every single day. You should always be striving to do better than you did last time. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. The secret is make a plan, execute the plan, become obsessed with the plan and make it your entire life from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed for 20 fucking years. It's the day-to-day -day disciplines. It's the eating the meals, doing the workouts, doing the best you can in your career, doing the best you can for your family. Those are the things that are going to create your superpower so that you can go through life being an unstoppable force. Most things that never get done, never get done because they never get started. There is no perfect time to start. You got to start now with changing your life. Stop sitting on the fucking bench and get in the mother fucking game. Let's make this the year where we stop that shit. And if you want to stop that from happening to you, wake up in the bed and know what you're going after. Get up out of the bed with an agenda. When you have an agenda, you don't spend time worrying about how you feel because it doesn't make a difference how you feel. You woke up with something to do. And if you don't start changing your attitude, you will miss your altitude. The problem is not the condition. It's a matter of discipline. There is no shortcut to excellence. You got to force yourself to get up and get it done every day of your life. You don't become what you want. You become where your habits take you. Nothing's ever going to be given to you. Everything's going to be earned. If you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't go out and put in the effort, one, you're not going to get the results. But two, and more importantly, you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. Commit yourself to executing on the plan on a daily basis, no matter what's going on around you. Stop hoping, stop wishing for great things to happen to you and get up and work for them. Make them happen. Take full ownership of your time, of your mind, of your day. It is the struggle. It is the wrestling. It is the pulling. It is the trial. It is the temptation. It is the stumbling and falling and getting back up again. It is the aggravation and the intimidation that gives you foundation to create a legacy. The lifestyle I'm building, it can't be instantly obtained. It takes that blood, sweat, and tears of commitment. I learn in the doing. I learn in the fight. My strength tolerance increases. My ability to handle pain increases. My wisdom increases. I become tougher. I become stronger. I become more and more of an unstoppable beast. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They improved every day. They did all this even though they felt like quitting every day. You're putting in the work. And the only reason you pissed, the only reason you quitting is not because you want to quit, because you keep looking up and you said we three in. Who cares what you are? If you keep going, you're going to break through. The only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching. That's the problem with some of y'all. You stopping working to look at yourself. You not grinding, you glaring. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working and that other stuff will take care of itself.
Wake up every single day. And if the opportunity to work out is there, work out. If the opportunity is there to read, read. Because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. And there's a big difference between 99 and 100%. And to find that last 1%, it takes ignoring your personal desires and comforts. If you're able to endure when all around you says stop, you will find that 1%. A person's strengths are often their biggest weaknesses. And so that also means that their weaknesses can be their strengths. So, me, I am weak. In all those ways that I listed, I am weak. But I don't accept that. I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be. No, I don't accept that. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scrapping kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, stop them. Some days I win, some days I don't, but each and every day I get back up and I move forward with my fists clenched toward the battle, toward the struggle. And I fight with everything I've got to overcome those weaknesses and those shortfalls and those flaws as I strive to be just a little bit better today than I was yesterday. You gotta be the hardest workers in the world. The masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself when no one else is around, those moments have a tendency to lead to success. And not only that, but in what world do we not work every day? You gotta work every fucking day. It doesn't end. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of people. It is. But if you want to go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you can do, you've arrived. It's a commitment, not a feeling. When you get up in the morning, you don't give yourself a choice. You grind, no matter what. When you're just not feeling it, you gotta force yourself. When your feelings tell you no, you tell them to shut the f up. You don't wanna get up and get out of bed, you get up and get the f out of bed. You don't wanna study, you fucking study. You don't wanna get to work, you get to fucking work. When everything in you is kicking and screaming, you have to take control and tell yourself, I do not stop. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for good things to happen to me. I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna do everything in my power to become the very best version of me. When you do the things most people aren't willing to do, you'll live the life most people never will. When you look back after working your ass off, you will see every challenge, all the knockdowns, breakdowns, and every bit of the pain and daily struggle will all be fucking worth it. Without execution, dreams are nothing. Without execution, goals are nothing. Without execution, ideas are nothing. Without execution, you become nothing. How strong is your movement? What time do you wake up in the morning? What time do you go to sleep? And how much time do you waste throughout the day? The plan, the idea, the thought doesn't matter. If you want to win, you have to execute. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by, wasted, consuming garbage with no purpose and no point? Stop wasting time and get after it. What would happen to your life if you decided to stop counting the costs? If you started doing whatever is required? If you stopped holding yourself back? Or could you leave? If you worked as hard as you could, what could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I say you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out and then go get some. You got to get to the point where you don't care how it feels. You don't care whether you want to do it, whether you don't want to do it, whether it's easy, whether it's hard. None of that shit matters. All that matters is that you get it done every single day. You do whatever it takes. Get to that point. It's not just a mindset. It becomes a fucking lifestyle. 
you become an unstoppable, disciplined motherfucking machine, and you create a life of greatness. That's why I'm successful. I got that dog. After 20 years of doing it, I still got that dog. And with that dog, I execute. Sharks are hundreds and predators. They never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. I'm going to think, I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. And that's how you get to the next level. If you want to be great, if you want to reach a level others will be measured by, you've got to be willing to work every single waking hour. You've got to be fucking obsessed. You've got to be willing to get it done or die trying. Rest when you must, recover when needed, but don't ever stop grinding. Never take your foot off the gas. Never stop, never quit. You got to dedicate every single hour of every single day, of every single week, of every single fucking year for many years to reach greatness. When you are consistently hammering on that project, on that goal, on that dream, you will no longer be dreaming about success. You'll be living it. Zero exceptions. True winners, they never lose focus. They always focus on the goal. They always focus on the process and they always focus on being the absolute best that they can. They might celebrate hard, but they don't celebrate long. Come Monday, come the next morning, they're back at it. They're focused, they're undistracted, they're driven, they're enjoying their progress, they're enjoying their wins, but they're not over celebrating them. And that's the attitude you have to have toward a single victory if you want to make it a lifestyle and a lifetime of winning. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You got to be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. 